my name is Samuel Washira. I'm from Mwea, Mwea East. I'm in my farm, which is about five acres, and I've grown Kiprakeria grass, which I, I normally feed to my cows. We were introduced Brakeria grass by Karo Katumani branch. They came visiting, and then they gave us our first seeds, which was about 250 grams. Brakeria iringia hapa 2018. Kwa hivyo mwezi wa ine. Kwa hivyo December ya 2019, hapo ndipo tulianza kutumia hii nyasi ya Brakeria. When it was introduced to us, that was uh, early 2018. We embraced it because uh, we wanted to try it out. Uh, because from literature, the, the grass would, uh, uh, would give you more, more milk per animal per day. And therefore, that's how we embraced it. And it has not let us down, it has done very well. Mimi niko na variety bili, Basilicus na Zaras. Before I started uh, feeding my cows on Brachelia, I had a lot of problems with the cow health, even fertility. But now from the time I started now feeding cows on almost like a hundred percent on Brachelia, I had realized an overhead health improvement. Milk production have gone up and also veterinary visits for treatment to my cows have uh, drastically reduced. So I would say that uh, on average, head health, it's perfect. When I'm using the grass, the difference I have is in the volumes. With increased in volume, then I get more from the market. And also, I, I have a few heifers that are showing some quick growth. Wakati ya tukwa tunatumia blakaria, ngombe alikuwa mukonda, kukua na maziwa, kutafuta nyazi ilikuwa shida. Lakini after kutuadizua hii blakaria, ndiyo ngombe hakaanza kutuwa maziwa mingi, afya mzuri, na hakaanza kunona. Paka hakaanza kutuadizua hii ngombe ni muondoe, nileta hile ngombe mkubwa. Mwenye ata kikula nyazi ya tanipatia bado maziwa mi, maziwa mingi ye. The, the animals have, have done better, even by seeing uh, the physical features. Uh, when it comes to the milk production, it has also increased. Kuna tofauti kubwa wakati ngombe simerisho wa burakelia na hii nyasi ingine ya kawaida kama dhara ama nepia grass. Ngombe zikirisho wa burakelia, kwanza hiyo burakelia inasibisha ngombe. Sio kama nyasi hizi singine. Na tena haitumi burakelia nyingi kama hizi nyasi singine. Inakura tu kidogo, arabu naona ngombe imeshimba. My initial production uh, was 10 liters for my head of three cows, but now I have improved to around 60 liters uh, with a head of four cows. So I have seen a huge uh, increment in milk production, which I'm still hoping to continue improving. What I've realized is that uh, after milk sales, I'm able to sustain the feeding of the cows, even the farm workers, even sustaining myself without uh, digging deeper from my pockets. Previously, you would get uh, animals not hungry getting to about seven, eight uh, liters of milk per milking. Now, when you get 10 and even beyond, uh, by milking, that's getting to 20 to 21, 22 liters per, per day per cow, then I think that's it's good. We're producing per cow two liters, two and a half. Now I can comfortably say my worst cow is doing minimum five liters. And uh, I will say the grass has done its trick. Wakati tulikuwa tunatumia hii dharaa ya kawaida ama nepian grass ya kawaida, ile maziwa tulikuwa tunapata ni kidogo kuliko ile sasa tunapata wakati huu. Hisi ngombe, kila moja inatoa lita ishirini. Hmm? Na bereni, hazikuwa sikifikisha hapo. Kwanzia nianzie kutumia hii grass, eh, pesa imeweza kukua mingi. Bereni tukua tunapata miambili, waniti, ivo. 
lakini sasa tuna expect of 800 per day maintenance ya burakelia sana sana ni mbolea tu naipatia mbolea ya ngombe na kama ni wakati kumenyesha mvua ama unatumia maji ya irrigation unaweka fertilizer aina ya CN the challenge is not the grass the challenge is the farmer because when you start doing work when you don't understand what you're doing the products will definitely be exactly that you don't understand them kida iko sasa maintenance kidogo lazima ifanyie soil analysis sana sababu hii nyasi ni heavy feeder lazima iweke manyua na maji the current charge is it has some fine airlines which when you are harvesting and and, uh, and converting to hay it usually disturbs people but however it doesn't have uh, any other major challenges black area for me I can't quantify the costs. But what I know is that especially now that I'm watering, one day's milking is sufficient to water for the week. Then the no more daily expenses that I'm able to maintain with this. So I'm as far as I'm concerned it's a good deal because the grass has high content of protein we have saved in terms of uh, dairy meal uh, which is used as a concentrate uh, in addition to the fodder um, and uh, that is almost reducing the the intake with the uh, meal by uh, about a third or so uh, of the quantity that we normally give uh, per week for example Uh, so that's basically the the saving that uh, we in terms of the animal requirement yeah which of course translates into uh, economic for the production on the grass you don't use a lot of money so acquiring that particular fodder is cheaper as compared to any other fodder uh, so in long run I've been able to save a lot in farm expeditions vile mimi ningeshauri wale ambao wangependa kutumia mbulakelia ningewaambia kwanza ni chakula kizuri cha ngombe kinasibisha ngombe na hata afya ya ngombe unaona ni nzuri na pia hata maziwa inaongezeka wakati unatumia mbulakelia hii nyasi inaweza kuambia watu watumie sababu kitu ya kwanza ni iko na matokeo mzuri mtu akianza kutumia pesa inaongezeka kwa mfuko na ni pesa mingi nimetumia hiyo ingine hiyo wakati na wakati wajua ilikuwa inaisha ama ikichapa na mfuko mwingi sana inaoza hii hii haina shida hii hii hata ukichelewa kukata bado ina with start i definitely will recommend the grass because if you manage it well you can bail and sell two if you put your heart in it the your cows will tell you that they are having good feed and uh, when they have good feed then you have good results milk the size of the cows and also even if you get a bull you will be able to feed it and within a year and a half you dispose it at a decent price i would definitely recommend in fact uh, quite many of the farmers they have come and uh, uh, they they have bought a few breeds to go and try in their in their chamber once it is properly established uh, it can withstand even quite a lot of water stress that is why you can you, you can see we have not had the rains uh, and even when we have not been able to uh, to apply irrigation water adequately but you can still it still withstands the difficult uh, weather i will highly recommend brachelia grass to farmers because establishing the grass is very very easy also maintaining the grass at the fields or at the shamba it's easy because there is no weeding after establishment and then it's very very vigorous vegetative wise it will be able to to grow very fast and you'll be able to get enough fodder from each and every cut you'll be able to get enough fodder which will be able to feed your cows